Okay, I'm running out of memory on my phone, so I really hope that this works. Even iMovie isn't working properly for me. So, are you getting a surgery? Ooh, brutal. I'm right there with you. So, I packed myself a really cute hospital kit. Um, I'm going to start off by saying that this is extra. You don't need to go this far, but yes, you do. So, let's just get started, and then I will explain my situation as we go, because I hate long intros. So, this is the kind of bag that I'm taking with me. It's just a mesh bag from Amazon. A lot of the stuff is from Amazon. I will link everything that I possibly can in the description video, description of this video. So first things first, I have my um, travel glasses that's just hooked on one of the arm bands. What's it called? Straps, hooked on one of the straps. And this here has a pair of foldable glasses. I've had these for a while and they work very well. It's great because I travel a lot with work and they're super cute. So yeah, you're gonna need something like this. It's also great too, because it's out of the way, you know, big sunglass containers are bulky and stuff. And I like the fact that this is just, doesn't impede with what's going on in here. All right, so I've been watching a lot of videos. What's going on with me? I have uh, fibroids and they are large and they are so big, it's made my uterus the equivalent size of a full-term pregnancy. So I have to have a C-section and I'm getting a hysterectomy done, removing the fallopian tubes as well as the cervix and the uterus, obviously. So uh, because you, I am getting a C-section, I have read that it's kind of important to have a pillow and then you can keep it on your abdomen so that when you cough or if you laugh, you can kind of hold down that incision area and it makes it a lot easier. It's still gonna be quite painful, but at least you'll have something to kind of like help pad that area. Also this, you can add in a uh, heating pad or a ice pack. It's just great for overall <laughs> health purposes. So this is in my bag and yeah. So what's gonna happen is when you go to surgery, they're not gonna want you to bring anything at all. Luckily, my mom is gonna be with me in the process in a way. We go to check in and then after that, she's gonna go to my apartment with this bag. And then once I am out of my surgery, she's gonna come with the bag. So I have this with me at all times. So the next thing I have in my bag are things to sort of keep me entertained. And <laughs> this is gonna be really cute. I'm a childless millennial. All right, this is what we do. So I have here a word search book. And then I have here a coloring book. And this specific coloring book for me, um, you know, they have those adult ones and stuff. They even have uterus adult coloring books. But I actually busted out my old coloring book from the 1990s. Um, and I thought it'd be really cute to just color in a book that I colored when I was a kid. So as you can see here, this is dated 11-21-1997. I have photos in here from 95. So Here's one from 96. So I figured, hey, you know what? Let's just color in this book. I also have here some crayons. Now I got the twist up kinds because I figured that would be the less annoying thing to use just because you don't have to worry about the pe peeling the paper or anything like that, creating a mess. And then twist up is easy just to kind of color with it. Although I will say one out of five stars for this because the pigmentation of these crayons subpar i'm actually really shocked that crayola dropped the ball on that one the next thing i have in here is my um, headphones Ta -da! my phone's gonna be on me and i'm probably gonna watch some sort of something so it's good to have headphones you know bluetooth ones so you can listen to music and whatever and not have to bother anyone yes these are quite bulky um i don't know I don't know what I am going to use. We'll find out when we get there. <laughs> this next bag that sits like this inside of my, you're going to be like, there is no way. <laughs> so this bag also from the Yams um, contains everything that I would need to be self-sufficient. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have visitors the entire time, but just in case I am alone, I'm going to be in the hospital for about two to three days. So, you know, I don't like asking people to help me with a lot of stuff. So I put together a kit. Also side note, I'm a makeup artist. So if you're like, how did you get all of that stuff in here? I know how to make things very tiny. Um, in here, I've got like makeup loose. You'll see there's makeup, there's self care, there's tech gear, there's my wallet, my glasses, there's spices, seasonings, flavoring, salsas. There, there's a lot of stuff in here. And let me tell you, if you're like me and you're a little bit extra, you may, you may appreciate this. 
if you're not extra, please just, just leave the video already. <laughs> okay. So this bag opens up flat. My goal is you can sit this like this when it's all closed up on that medicine table that swings over your hospital bed. There's that. And then when I need to get into it, you just open it up. And in the bag, I have all of my accoutrements to have a good old experience. I'm trying to make this as luxurious as I possibly can, okay? If you are obsessed with really cute, tiny bags and containers like I am, this is your excuse to use all of that because this is their time. This is what you were made for. Okay, so to get started on one of the pockets in my bag, I have here my ring light to snap onto my phone. I do plan on vlogging my experience and then I'm on Instagram all the time, like daily talking about what I'm going through. So hospital rooms are kind of dark sometimes and so you're gonna need a little bit of a light if if you also are a part of social media so you know you got these little things um if you find one that is battery power like a uh, uh, rechargeable get that one because just batteries ugh, who does that anymore anyway so in the next pocket i have my little eye walk so recharging your phone you're gonna need that um i am bringing the cord with me too i need to remember to put that in my bag and then uh whenever i have a visitor i'll have them charge this for me and then when they leave i have an extra set of you know a charging device so i don't have to worry about bothering the nurse to can i plug this in you know i don't want to i just don't want to bother them they have more important things to do okay so in the pocket, I also have this little container. Again, everything that I have is going to be listed in the description box below. And in this container, this has extra batteries, AAA batteries. These batteries are for that ring light. And then I have here, um, whatever that is, um, earplugs, because I don't know what, what's going on in the, <laughs> the hospital room. I also have lens wipes. I wear glasses, I'll be touching my phone, why not? If it fits, it sits. Okay, makeup time. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move in this direction. So here I have what is called a Mio container. So um, the Mio containers are great because they host a lot of um, beauty care products or basically anything that you can decant into smaller containers. Mio is fantastic. I just I can go on and on about them, but in this video I will not. Um, I have here my eye cream, my face cream, which I'm going to add a lot more of. I have some sort of like, a, oh, a foundation stick that I've scraped and put into this little container like this. Here we go. They don't leak, but they're awesome. And then I have here a lip and cheek stain. But with my hospital, after talking to them, we're gonna be wearing masks, so I probably won't even need the lip and cheek stain, but eh, whatever. And then a tiny little powder puff. <laughs> to blend them all if I needed to use that. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> I probably won't use this. I'll use my fingers. But um, yeah, and then in this one, this one has is more of a deep set container. This actually is my deodorant. Instead of packing a super large deodorant stick, you don't need to do that. Just depot it into something smaller and use your hand and just do that. I'm telling you, it's it just saves so much room. And look, I have so many products just in the palm of my hand. And this container, as you can see, also has a mirror. So listen, just because I'm in the hospital, it doesn't mean I have to look like crap or feel like crap, you know? <laughs> so here I have, let's do it this way. I have another container with a creamy eyeliner and a brown eyeliner in case you want to zhuzh up the eyes, you know? Just because, again, just because we're there doesn't mean it'd be terrible. Some of us like to put makeup on, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me. How dare you? So this is also my eyelash curler, and it's a portable one. As you can see now, some of them are kind of awkward and large. This is by Japanesque. All you have to do with this one is bring down this little panel, and then... Isn't that cute? It works phenomenally phenomenally too and because it's so small you can stick it in a container and travel around with it super easy then i have another little baggie oh my God. excuse to use all the bags in this baggie here i have a very small container of body lotion this is super important chapstick they say everyone's like bring a chapstick i got my chapstick and then i also have a mini mascara so if you are a beauty person, don't forget your mascara because <laughs> that's important.
this next container I got off of Etsy. Actually, I also got this one off of Etsy. I love I love the witchy stuff. Um, this is a little like a like an Altoids tin, really, but it's been repurposed into just a, a fun little tin to put in your bags and stuff. This is my medicinal stock. Um, granted, I know I'm in a hospital, but I will get permission before I just bring this up just in case. I'm probably actually going to switch out for my um, my prescribed ones because that makes more sense. <laughs> so I have here in this little pill case from the container store, my my uh, dairy pills, because sometimes the hospital, I mean, what if they give me dairy stuff? I can't have that. So I have my lactate pills just in case. Um, I have in here just some gas -X. Everyone says I'm going to need gas X afterward. And I'm like, okay, I'm sure the hospital will give me some, but you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm an over preparer. Again, I'm a makeup artist is what we do. Uh, one little allergy pill. Again, probably will not use this. Hospitals got me covered, but it is what it is. In this little container, I have Halls Creates mini cough drops. They're so cute. And in case they do put a, a breathing tube in me when they, they do the surgery, um, it can cause some coughing afterward. And with that whole pillow thing, this is gonna help me prevent, at least try to help me prevent uh, coughing. And then I have more Mio pods in this. This one has Vicks and this one has CBD balm. So I've heard stories that um, the pain that you get from the gas afterward, you know, it goes all the way up into your shoulders. So some, I think the CBD balm is gonna be worth it. Um, I'm gonna ask if I can use it instead of just taking pills because ibuprofen and stuff, like all that stuff makes you constipated. So I'm gonna like beg them if I can use my CBD balm because help me. Um, then I have a welly case. You see those band-aids? Literally have no use for the band-aids. I mean, use them. But I bought this case just because it's so cute. I'm obsessed with space and witchery. Have you noticed? And uh, so I finally get a reason to use this case. So in this has all of my wipes. Now, listen, I understand that on my channel, if you've watched my videos, I've been pushing being eco-friendly. In this situation, I'm using my stuff for, to my advantage. Um, I've got some makeup wipes here. I have, so I bought this, oh, I need to put that in there too. I bought this frankincense oil and it came with this little mini mask. There's two pads, I guess, that you stick in your mask and it give, and you just, you sprinkle whatever essential oil you want. And I have frankincense and I kind of thought maybe I should throw it on this pad and then, I don't know, we'll see. The option is there if I want to take it. Um, I've got some hand wipes and I have the hand wipes in here because in case I, I do do some makeup with my hands, I can just wipe them off real quick. I've got some feminine wipes, like, you know, pH balance wipes. And then I have some deodorant wipes too because I'm going to be scared to, to use the shower and that's another thing too that has directed me. People are saying the shower is the scary part and I'm like, oh God. And, and going to the bathroom, scary part two. Two hair ties. And then underneath here, I have some uh, Q-tips and then a mini nail filer. It's in there. I'm not going to dig for it. Um, so yeah, this is like the self, kind of like the beauty self-care portion of it, but it's so small. I mean, come on, look at all the stuff I had so far. And that's just one side of the bag. Now the center of this bag was open when I first opened it. A little zipper, right dead center. And in there is my wallet. So I'm going to have uh, my ID, my insurance card, I've got like 20 bucks in here and then a debit card. I got cash in here because I figured, you know, if there's like a, I don't know, cafeteria, I could send one of my people. Can you go get me like an ice cream or something? <laughs> so I'm just going to have that. And it's a tiny little pouch. This pouch is adorable. So having the pouch and, you know, having this tiny little wallet, again, it's not in the way. It's just in here. Now we're getting to this side of the bag so much stuff right I'm telling you oh my god no way my glasses case I don't have a cute one yet you leave me be but I will get a cute one eventually so my glasses are in here and then in this one um this came as a set with my little wallet this one has my spices and goods upon goods so I have Metamucil which I've been taking the past week and I feel like it doesn't work some of them, I know you guys are like, no, it works for me. Not for me. I feel like it's in the shit. I've got smooth move teas. 
because you know um i have here ooh, these electrolyte packets from ultima if you do half and half of each each one of the lemonade and raspberry for like raspberry lemonade ooh, it's delicious now hospital food isn't known for being some of the best out there so i have here some creole seasoning tapatio <laughs> and cholula i'm set um I pick these up whenever I'm like at a fast food restaurant or something and I see that they have like Cholula packets. I'm like, listen, <laughs> I only grab a couple. I don't do a handful, but I'll just grab like one or two and then I throw it in here. So yes, I would like to have a box of it, but I feel like that's excessive and wasteful. So I just get what I need. So I'm not creating extra waste that much. Also, I have a, a portable phone stand so this folds flat yay and it doesn't take that much space and then what i can do oh like this put on and it holds your phone for you like so awesome Yee. then i have my tooth care and in here i've got my toothbrush toothpaste and then this little mac this is a mac bag um i have some toothpicks as well um I thought about bringing to uh, like floss, but I feel like that was, that's too much. I just need something just quick and easy. And you know, floss is kind of it's a hot mess. I also, so there's a pocket on the side of this bag. I have here some mouthwash as well. Um, these were gifted to me from my Amazon wish list, and I really appreciate the person who bought me these. So I can easily just, instead of having to like get up and do the whole like bottle of mouthwash thing, I have portable ones. So it's, it's gonna be so nice at the very very bottom yeah yes i do face eyes again i don't have to be a shrubbery <laughs> is it extra a hundred percent am i even gonna want to use this probably not i'm probably gonna be so out of it and just wanting to sleep and recover i don't know but I love having the option. I love feeling like I can do this on my own. I've got everything covered. I don't need to worry about any asking anybody for help. That's just who I am. So that's what's in my hospital bag. And I know this seems crazy, but I know there's people like me out there because I know I'm not the only person who feels the way I do. I just feel like when you have something like this, there's an easier way to do this. I don't know why I did that the hard way, but anyway. Like I said, put that on your medicine table or your table, boom. You could have, or even have it next to you in bed. Well, wherever. I just think that that's a really cool thing to use. And then if you have smaller contraptions, smaller things, everything will be listed in the description box. It'll just make it so much easier for you. So if you are going through a hysterectomy too, I feel you. Um, prepare your car, prepare your bed ahead of time, prepare everything. Uh, the car that I'll be in will have a padded seatbelt. Like there is a pillow that you can buy and it is Velcros around the base of the seatbelt part. You need that extra cushion when you get back in the car after your surgery, when you start to go back home. You need that protection because ouch. Um, so prepare your car, prepare your bed when you get home and prepare your hospital bag. And hopefully you can find some entertainment uh, while you're there and make your experience as luxurious as you possibly can. <laughs> I hope this video helped you figure out what to bring to the hospital. <laughs> um, listen, I know most hospitals want you to bring minimal things, but I'm not a minimal person. And if you're not either, then hey, here you go. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, I do wanna mention that I have a GoFundMe that is currently active. I desperately need to hit my goal and I'm only $2,000 away now. Thank you so much to everybody who's been donating. I have 20,000 followers here on YouTube and 22,000 followers on TikTok. If I can just get 2,000 followers to donate a dollar each, I'll be done. Um, I'm not working during this time and because I'm having a C-section, I'm gonna be out of work for like eight to 10 weeks. And the reason why it's so long is because with my job, I'm a makeup artist I and I work on a traveling show. I can't be cleared for plane travel and I fly on a plane twice a week for work. Um, I also carry my kit, which is 47 pounds, my luggage, which is 35 pounds, up and down 
the flight of stairs from my apartment to my car, hoist it into the car, and then I go to take it out and put it in the shuttle and then check it in. Like it's a big dance. There's a lot of heavy weight lifting with my career. I won't be cleared, be clear to do any of that and not working for me as a 1099 contractor. It's not fun. We don't get, we don't qualify for, you know, um, disability and things like that. I'm doing my best, but please, if you can help me a little bit, I will be greatly um, a appreciative of, of all of that. I hate asking for help on the internet, but like I'm getting more comfortable with it at the same time. So please go to the GoFundMe link. Um, I would appreciate any help that you can give. And if I can make my goal, I won't have to stress out about not being able to pay my rent and my car while I recover. So thank you so much for that consideration. I also have my Amazon wish list. There's only a couple things on there right now. Um, maybe I'll add a couple things that'll just make me smile. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to follow me to follow <laughs> this whole journey, I will be updating and follow me on Instagram, which is at Lana Reese, because I update that so much easier. And every single day, I'm making an Insta story about this whole process. So I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Goodbye.